Hello, I'm Daniel, and welcome to the Mona Project. We here at the Mona Project are continuing in our series of videos with respect to inspiration, education, information, guidance, and advice. And I want to talk about uh, a remarkable Hasidic figure. Uh, this is uh, Rabbi Yaakov uh, Yitzhak uh, of Lublin, called the Seer of Lublin, the Chayzer of, Lu of Lublin. Um, now, um, when Yaakov Yitzhak uh, was a little boy, um, Rebzusha Evanapol, in his travels, came to the town where his father lived, and he went to the, uh, the, the shul, and he went, uh, and this was Rebzusha's custom, he would stand at the back, and he positioned himself not far from this boy, and he would dive and he would pray, and his talus, his prayer shawl, would completely cover his head. And at one point, he peered out. This is Sir Zusha, would peer out. And he looked at the young boy with a very penetrating glance. Just looked at him, didn't say anything. But there was this electric connection. And the young boy started to cry. And he cried and he cried and he wept for almost an hour. And the Rebzu Shavanapol stood beside the boy until he finished crying, until the tears had ceased to fall. And uh, Rebzusha said to the boy, Your soul has been awakened. Now go to my teacher, the Magad of Mezrich, and study with him so that your mind may also be aroused from its sleep. This young boy went to the Magad of Mezrich, studied, and eventually ended up um, at uh, the study house of Rabbi Shmelke. He was older, but he was... This is, he was almost removed from things. Uh, he, he seemed like an angel, completely divorced from all earthly matters. So much so that Rabbi Shmelka, who also had a bit of a reputation for being aloof, he thought that this boy's uh, attitude, this young man's attitude was excessive. So... Rabbi Shmelka sent him to Anapol with a note to Rabzusha. And he said, Make our, make our little Yitzhak, make our Yitzhakal a little lighter of heart. And Rabzusha, who had once awakened uh, Yaakov Yitzhak's uh, to holy tears, now succeeded in waking a holy joy in him. We're going to be doing more stories of these great uh, gedolim, these great people, these great righteous people, these tzaddikim of the uh, early years of the Hasidim. Please come back. Please watch. Please learn. And until next time, on behalf of the Imono Project, I'm Daniel, and thank you too much.